Hi everyone. So I just drove 85 miles to get back to this nursery that I've been wanting to get back to for a while, for a couple months. Um, I'm just exhausted at this point. I've had no caffeine today, like none. And I have my toddler in the back. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> she just woke up and she's a goober. But anyways, so we just got here, no caffeine, and I am exhausted. I'm hoping we can get through here pretty quickly and get all the things that we need and get out and get back on the road home. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and head in and mind you, it's like 20 degrees out here. It's freezing. All right. See ya. show you what I got from Hertz um, and part of this like a lot of the planty things that I've been buying is not necessarily for indoors it's outdoors so I kind of feel like if I'm buying like stuff for outside it's kind of like the whole families to enjoy but anyway so the first thing when I was on Hertz.com shopping I saw that they had hydrangeas for $7.99 so I'm like okay let me check those out of course they only show you like what it looks like fully bloomed and you know beautiful but I decided to go ahead and get some hydrangeas they were $7.99 in the four inch pots so I knew they were small um, I knew that it's going to take them some time to grow I do have a plan for them I'm I'm not planning to stick them directly into soil until they get a little bit bigger but let me go ahead and show you a few of these I bought six um, five of them are the same and then there's one that's different I cannot remember what he was I'm thinking let me show you him right quick so here he is he is a twig for sure so He's got one tiny little crunchy leaf and then he doesn't have many, he, he looks pretty good in his pot. They are very, very moist. Um, he does feel fully rooted, but yeah, here, here's little Twiggy, Twiggy number one. And I believe he might be a pinky winky. That's just what's sticking in my head. There was another hydrangea that I had in my cart, but I don't think I I don't think I got that one. It was it wasn't Pinky Winky. It was something else, but I I think I might have grabbed the wrong one when I was at the greenhouse and just at the time like trying to remember what I picked out and couldn't remember for the life of me. And then I saw this name and I thought it was it. I think this is a pinky wing, but it's not the one that I originally set out to get. So the other five that I did set out to get are these, and they are so twiggy, like <laughs> it is this, and this is a Zinfandel hydrangea. So as you can see there, they're dormant right now. So it's winter. It's, it's okay for them to look like this. And this one has 
roots growing out of here. I'm not sure if I should leave this in the pot, you know, for the rest of winter, given that there's roots hanging out, or if I should go ahead and repot it. If you guys have an answer for that question, let me know. Um, I'd be interested in to know and knowing someone's opinion on this, because since it's generally an um, outdoor plant and I'm overwintering it, should I even bother it or just leave it be? So there goes one. And then I have five more. They all pretty much look the same. I did find get a few that have a little bit more leaf to them. And so I have this here, this guy. And they're, they're really tiny. They almost look like little bonsai trees. But yeah, and then I have, this one's got roots coming out and he also has a spider nest right there. Let me murder that really quickly. Do I have a stick? Because I don't want this to hatch in here. Okay. Anyway, so there's this. They all pretty much look exactly like this one besides the um, pinky winky one. But these ones, all five, five Zinfin dolls, one mystery pinky winky. So the next plant, and they, Hertz actually had a lot of good stuff. Um, I did not splurge like I wanted to. I just got a few things, but I found this little guy here. He was $4.99. This is a Ficus Benjamina, uh, var variegated, and he is super cute and super tiny. Um, my family picks on me because I always buy small plants, but the first thing I think of when I see something that I like is how much is it going to cost? So to get one of these super big, it's going to cost me more now, more in the present than I'm will that I'm willing to pay. So that's why I buy a lot of small plants. And I don't mind them small. I have space for them right now. And then as they get bigger, I'll just move them out and around the house. But yeah, here goes this guy. He's gorgeous. I hope I don't kill him. I was reading that um, like any like little change and they'll drop their leaves. So we'll see. Alrighty. And then my next plant is this. So I had to clean my lens real quick, but. This is the Baby Hope Philodendron, and he's pretty cute. They had, um, for this particular plant, they had two different growers. So there were two sets of this plant where they looked different. So the one I almost got was like one, um, one stalk with bigger leaves on it, as opposed to this one, smaller, smaller one with many you know leaves and um i guess growth points so i figured i'd do this this would probably bush out a lot faster as opposed to just getting one with just one leaf this actually is more of a plant if that makes sense so this one's super super cute i love it all right and then Last but not least, I got this little weirdo plant that I really, really love. This is, it's called, its nickname is like a tractor seat plant. It's, let me pull this out so I can, so I can ruin the name of it. Yeah, so this says tractor seat, but it's like something Japonica, something like that. Um, very cool looking plant. I, the photos that I've seen, this is planted in landscape in like landscape area so I don't I don't think I'm gonna put this in my landscape I wouldn't I don't know enough about it to do that only because I would hate for it to become it to overrun an area so I really want to be cautious about that but for now it's gonna be indoor an indoor plant and then towards spring when it warms up that it can go out on the porch or outside that's fine but not in ground but yeah he's got roots coming out so he's ready for another pot which i'll do that in a little while probably a couple days i don't want um to throw him in the shock as soon as he just gets to my house 
Okay, so that is it for my plant haul. Okay, so that was it for the plant haul. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the newer things that I have acquired since um, my last One video. One of the plants that I recently purchased is this. It is a philodendron xanadu. I'm actually like falling in love with philodendrons. I'm starting to like them so much. So I don't mind collecting them in all sizes. So this is newer. This is a variegated um, like wandering Jew uh, plant. So just a different variety. Some new babies here. So I have this uh, string of pearls and then I also have this variegated string of pearls which is doing pretty good. Um, I have not killed it yet so I guess that's good. Always good. And then I also have a little pot that I uh, am propagating right now so it's still alive so I guess I'm doing something right <laughs> they typically sit under this grow light at night that I have set up here and all the plants in here do really well with that there's I don't really have a spot to put them right this second um, I am working out another space for them so in here, some of the newbies are uh, this amaryllis. I actually got a couple. Um, these these three, and this one is not an amaryllis. It is what is it? Paper whites. So these were all on clearance at Walmart for two dollars and fifty cents. So I snatched those up. And then this one, I, I paid full price, which is why. <laughs> I only had one of it at the time. These ones are more recent as of like last week that I bought them. But they grow so quickly. Like once they start, um, once they start, they just continuously are just coming up. Cause like this guy, he was like barely above the surface when I um, got him last week. And I wanna show you guys these little pots. I got these, Pody.com um, sent me these three little planters right here and they are so cute. I'm thinking I'll put like some kind of succulent in them, but they come with these little drain covers that keep the soil in when you water and, and they have these little bases that are wood. They are so cute. I love them. I cannot wait to put something in there. That's super cute. And let's see what else is new. This guy is new. He was a gift. Um, my sister got him for $1 at Lowe's. And I think I forgot to water him because he is super, super crispy and hard. And like his, like those just come right off. But um, he's a lemon, he is a, what is he? He's like a, a lemon or lime, some kind of shrub that you're supposed to be able to smell um, that lemon, lemony scent on him. But. Um, I have yet to smell it, and now he's so crunchy, I don't even know if he's going to survive. Alright, so let's go take a look at some of the other things that I have. Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you know what I should do about repotting those hydrangeas. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays! Bye!